Hey there YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to cut Rondek uh, trim by Schluter. And this is the trim I'm working with. Uh, I just purchased a 32T by 12 hacksaw blade. Brand new. This is carbon steel. Really helped. I tried using an old blade. It sucked. Gotta get a new blade. They're like two bucks. Get it. Okay, the other thing is you're gonna want some tin snips. They'll come in very handy. These are like ten bucks new. Um, you're gonna need a file, just like a normal file. And you're gonna need a miter box for the hacksaw. I got this one from a yard sale a long time ago. And uh, this actually helped a lot. It is just a, a clamp thing for woodworking, usually, I think, but really handy for this because it's really hard to cut it and it, it gives you much cleaner cuts if you use this to clamp it down. Uh, I tried doing it without this and just holding it with my hand while I cut and uh, it scratched the crap out of it and it was just not a good time. Good. Alright, so I'm going to show a whole cut here. I'm sorry to finish. Uh, I marked my angle that I need. I'm not using the stupid end pieces because they're like 10 bucks a piece and that'd be $80 in end pieces or not end pieces, but they called corner pieces. Um, so I'm just going to do the mitered edge here. And you just put it in your thing, <laughs> put it in your miter box. down. Uh, be careful. Make sure that this clamp is clean because this actually does scratch pretty easily. I was a little disappointed in how easily this scratches metal to metal, but it is just aluminum. So so here's how I got it in the miter box. I got it sitting on the side like that. And you do have to hold any loose ends just so it doesn't move because movement causes it to look horrible. And now when you start this cut, you have to own it. You have to push hard and not skip. So start at a slight angle, rest the saw on the other side of the miter box, and then chomp down into it. Still not super easy to do, but once you get through the body of it, or at least from the clamp, once you get through the majority of it, then you can just fatigue the rest off, like so. And then you want to take your snips and trim anything where it's going to hit. Theoretically, none of this would hit, but there's always like gunk in the corner so I just take it and cut it down like that. Then I just put it here, just put it against here and file it. A nice beautiful edge there. Alright and I've temporarily set up the strips here with some tape on the tile, some painters tape, and I try to get my edges as good as possible, or my corners as good as possible, but sometimes they will not be perfect, like that, and I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it because once I actually put the mortar in I'm gonna finesse it and maybe file it a little more and really get it perfect. The side's giving me some troubles. Alright, there it is. It took us two hours exactly to cut all this and file it and make it nice. Alright, thanks for watching.